right, you guys. This is a open box for a This thing is bad. It has air in it. Question is, do it have air or don't have air? These mags are huge. Huge. Okay. Got two mags. Two mags. I got this from Bentec LLC. Got that. And hmm. Didn't get no rounds. I thought I was supposed to get some rounds. But he gave me a stock, so yeah. Wow. This thing is nice. Looks like I'm not going to be able to um, do any tests today because of no magazine, no uh, what you call this? Let's just see. What's in the box? Okay. That always happens. It's a lot more tighter. So, let's compare the size. This thing is pretty darn small. And I do like it better without the stock. So I'm gonna take that off. We're gonna take the stock off. Okay. And this is what you get. Shorty short. And I think it's a way that uh, you can disconnect this and make this even um, shorter. I think you got. 
maybe punch something out of here. Yeah, so I guess you gotta take these two screws, one, two screws out. If you don't want this back here. I am at 200 bar. I don't know if that's correct or not, but this right here is the uh, four, five, forty five. This ain't the four, five, seven. This is just the forty five caliber. Really small. Fits in the hand really good. All right, let's take this clip out. Oh. All right, good cut. Cut. I would hate to have to hear this thing go bang in this shop because um, let's see if we got anything in the barrel. Barrel is clear. So, if you guys want to know more. cylinder okay so probe fits pretty good hmm. so we got the fill probe That's what you get out the box. Bentac LLC is where you want to go at to get yourself one of these. You know. Now, um, this tube right here, it goes to 310 bar, 4,500 PSI. It also is a, let's see how much air goes inside of here. Um, it says, I don't know, but it's currently air inside of here. Wow, this thing is this must be the newer version. How come it? Hmm. This gotta be a newer one. Because my safety is working. And the gun is not cut. On my other one, safety. Okay. So on this one, it doesn't say it's a bin tag. Like it said on the other ones, it says HP Max on there. So this is a HP Max receiver. You will be able to get a longer barrel and a longer tube 
to um, go ahead and extend if you want to hold more air you can definitely do it most definitely right now it says I'm at 200 bar so let's check that out real fast while we're on camera I'm not gonna deep gas it all the way but what I will do is see Thing is pretty dead on the route. Okay. Wow. This doesn't fit at all. Okay. Let's find another one. Just so you guys can see, we do have air inside of there. That's what it says. So we're gonna check it to make sure that Well, that answered the question. We definitely have air inside. So, there you go. You guys got any questions? Hit me up in the comments. <laughs> And I'll let you know, this right here has got to be, because I just had an HP Max, and on my HP Max, my safety wasn't working when it wasn't cocked. Also, I had the 357 version. That's a pretty good muzzle brake. Now, I wonder if this barrel is five inches or not. These are five inch barrels. Wow. How short this thing is, it's pretty good. Like, and it also has a little more, like someone has taken it apart before, maybe for testing or Something like that. But I got it from Bentec LLC. He's a good guy. I ordered my gun. And, you know, um, I was asking him a couple of questions. And he was saying that um, he would fix my old HP Max for free and all of that stuff. So, I ended up sending it back. So I told him, I was like, hey, I'm, I'm about to make an order because um, I've been having trouble with my 357 HP. So, so I told him that to, to be looking out for my um, order. And after I had ordered it, he had sent me a message back that he would actually put me up stock inside of the thing so it's 
thing is pretty good and um, it's pretty light and holding it with one hand is way easier than holding that 13 inch. Let's go ahead and put on some sight fittings. Let's get some sight in here. We got the rules. Okay, now this may actually. Alright, so right there in the right spot. Dovetail rails. No. Is this a dovetail? Guys wanna get something on here. Now I actually have a couple of um, things that I can put on here. And I'm actually thinking about and you can hold it like this. Like that. If you're left handed, it would be right handed, it'd be better. Hold it like that. Now, this is a 45, you guys. This is not nothing to be fucking playing around with. Because um, I can tell you now, this thing is packed with power. And if you know what you're doing, you can spend a little bit more money. And you can get the longer tank and change your barrel out. And this one is a 0.45, it's not a 457, it's just a 45. For anybody that want to put 457s inside of here, you may have a problem doing so. So when I had ordered my um, ammo, I had just ordered the 0.45, not seven, it was 0.453 or four. So hopefully they fit in here. Oh, safety is off. Yeah, this thing is pretty, pretty damn nice. Look at her. And what I used to do is take this buffer tube off and I would stuff this tube with rounds. I would drop them in there, fill it all the way to the top and put this back on. So that way I have some kind of storage. Now let's compare this to the Hudson Jet. Let's compare the two. Okay. Now the Jet 2 is uh, okay. So let's say that we have both of these side by side. Okay. It looks to me that the Jet 2, let me turn this around. Looks to me that the Jet 2 is just a little bit longer. If I set them both down, you can definitely, most definitely see how long this one is compared to the Jet. So, and, and, when I say compact, really compact and small. You can definitely handle some business with this. You know, maybe at the range. Who knows? But um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this. And I'm happy I can bring this to you. Wow. Now, on this side, don't know why, so there is a hole right here. So this got to be something new. I don't 
know. I didn't have this hole in my on my HP Max. So my 357, I didn't have this little hole right here. I'm definitely on safety. Let's go ahead and decock this thing. Decopter. Hold the stop. Portability. Big portability, high caliber. It's great. Anti Cat 2. I love this one too. Where is my mag for my Jet 2? Oh, that's crazy. I had actually put it in this bag right here. So I keep mags inside of my. Jet 2, this is where I put them in. And as you can see, Jet 2, fully loaded. Safety's on. I'm kind of liking how this thing can stand up on its own. I'm really liking that. But this is the M50 from Dentac. And it is official. I'm happy. I'm very, very, very happy about this. As far as how it shoots and all of that, we will figure that part out. And also, if it doesn't, we will fix all of this stuff. You know, when you get stuff like this, you gotta, you gotta be kind of handy. Handy dandy. So, there you go. Like and subscribe if you would like me to bring more air guns to you. I still got another one that I haven't did a review on, but um, I'll be doing it very soon for you guys. This is not a review. This is just an open box. And let's just sit these next to each other again. I'm thinking that I will put this rail I mean, this on top of here. That's what I'm thinking. Because um, this scope is really nice. You can pull this out, twist it. And I only paid about 40 bucks for it on Amazon. This is the name of it right here. It's called a... a I can't even pronounce that. But that's the name of it. It got three adjustments. You got an adjustment here, you got an adjustment here, and an adjustment here. Twist that. This is the zoom, and this is like your focus. But this is a really, really nice um, thing, but it's really heavy. I'm actually just thinking about just using this because this looks pretty dead on good on there. I mean, I can't complain about that. But, um, you guys have a good evening. Like, subscribe. I'll be coming to you guys with some more air guns and maybe, you know, um, who knows, you know, I um, just like to do reviews and um, play with air guns here and there. But this is... This is one that we will not be playing with because this is definitely not for planking. This is not for planking. If you want to have something for home defense, if you're a convicted felon, I would say go with this or maybe go a little bigger for more shots, you know. This is only gonna give you six shots for a home invasion. So I would say go with a 357 or maybe a 30, 30 cal, get more shots out of it, and you know, you may be able to protect yourself. Me, I am a convicted felon, and this is what I have to have to protect my home and business. So I don't have I don't have any other weapons. And um, I don't ride around with this in the car. I don't leave home with this thing. Cause, um, and if I do leave home, 
what I would do is I would put it in the box that it came in and put it in the trunk and um, unload the mags and put the ammunition in a separate compartment. I appreciate you guys watching this and um, just give me that thumbs up and tap that subscribe button. It doesn't cost a thing. You know, I have a growing channel. I only have about 300 subscribers. And um, there's not a lot of M50 videos out there. So um, I'll definitely be putting a lot of M50 videos out there for you guys. And um, I'll see you in the next one.